guys thank you so much for all the love guys like i know my previous video was like four months ago but the love has been so overwhelming i am so grateful and yes i am here i have not disappeared i was doing a few talks here and there work was a bit hectic i am still talking about making money online and i promise you i am committed to this course <laughs> Shewani, welcome back to my channel. And yes, this is Petunia. Like, subscribe. Remember, hit the notification. It has been a while. Oh my word. Today, I want to show you a few hustles where you put in that initial effort and hopefully it should start generating a decent income for you as time goes along. Right. Okay. The first thing I want to talk about is something that I know a lot of people probably heard of before. A good friend of mine actually gave me this heads up and he's making like a hundred dollars sleeping each week like guys like i do not mind that kind of testimony it's print on demand that's a very fancy way of saying i'm selling stuff that i've never seen or touched or handled okay it doesn't even exist until you order it all right these are places where you get to design your own label look you can get as creative as you like you can draw lines you can put pictures of your dog or whatever okay you can doodle some i don't know free art freehand art okay you can come up with whatever you're coming up with your own brand and it can be quirky can be weird it can be exciting can be boring it really doesn't matter so what you do is you get on these platforms you create your own online store for free and once it's up and running you basically start forwarding it to all your friends and family and anybody who's out there and tell a friend to tell a friend and one thing leads to another and somebody lands on that page and says oh that's a very nice picture of a smiley face on a dress and then they order it and the moment they click on order it it immediately sends a notification to someone somewhere out there in the universe who will create that dress with your design on it and ship it through to them so obviously in the cost of making it all they will take their portion of the money check in the description box i've got a few of them in there and uh, do not stop there all right there are many of them out there you are welcome to google some more you can definitely find more than what i've posted down there and by the way this video is brought to you by taylor styles check them out guys you know with the lockdowns and so on someone is out here trying to look dot com but it ain't so easy when people are not available and these guys are so innovative i just love it they've got all these uh people in the beauty industry so if you do hair nails uh makeup whatever it is as long as you're out there making people look amazing taylor styles is the place for you because they help you get in touch with your audience and if you're not a stylist but you're looking for one <laughs> they help you find the right kind of people who can actually help you so go check them out www.taylorstyles.com okay so the next hustle is only for people who are honest yes honest if you know yourself <laughs> if you know yourself you're not honest you're not going to be trusted to be faithful take a seat yes that's my son making noise bear with me mom life all right but if you know you're not going to be honest take a seat in fact click off the video move on so don't be i've already warned you i've warned you <laughs> but i i got this idea from one of the people i think i've testified about her progress before but there's this young lady she's in zim she started out on rev and even though she hit a snack she didn't let it stop her she was not able to access her money from paypal so what did she do she found someone in south africa who she could send the money to and that person was faithful enough to actually go cash out the money and find another way to send the money to her in zim and guess what she did she made enough money to buy herself a car on christmas eve i mean hello that is fantastic this side hustle is basically one person helping somebody else and the reason why i say you need to be honest is because you do not want to be laundering money sending it to somebody who really thinks you're getting it in an honest way and they go cashing it out attracting attention to themselves and then next thing they get on the wrong side of the law also you don't want to be that guy who's receiving the money and then instead of sending it you're spending it that would be horrible people are out there trying to make money online you do not want to be an enemy of progress so I'd like to do this. You can 
post your name down below if you are available and willing and honest enough to help somebody else who is in a region that is not able to um, allow them to use PayPal or they can't take it out or they can't link it to their account or whatever the case may be or they can't create an account on, on PayPal, whatever. So if you are in places like, say, for example, USA or South Africa or any country where you are able to use PayPal, you're able to get PayPal money into your hands, please send a message in the comments down below. Just say, hi, my name is XYZ. I am honest and I am ready. Maybe don't say I'm honest because <laughs> just honest people are the first ones. <laughs> the first ones to say I'm honest. Just present your situation. Hi, my name is Petunia. I live in a country where I've got access to PayPal, Squirrel, whatever, whatever other e-wallets. And I am available and willing to help those who might be having a challenge somewhere else. Like I said, I'm not too sure of the legalities of this, but if you guys can work something out, a commission structure, I'm not doing it. It's not connected to me. I'm just letting people post down below. Hey, these disclaimers, we need to, ooh, 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 before, before people come after me. Okay, I'm not in any way affiliated or involved. I'm just trying to connect this group of people to that group of people. So send messages down below. And if you are someone who's looking for someone to help you, also post down below. And then people can know they can contact you. Okay. Also remember, earning money online has tax implications, especially when you start scaling and start making more and more and more and more and more money. So you need to pay attention to things like that. So if you're going to be helping someone like I've just suggested with PayPal, etc., make sure you do your homework. It's got tax implications. You don't want to find yourself in a bit of a spot. Now you're taking 10% from this guy and 5% from that guy. And then the tax man's after you and you're like, yeah, but it wasn't my money. They're not going to care. So you best get your ducks in a row. I'm just suggesting it remember comment down below are you willing to help where are you at do you need any help where are you at let's connect let's talk to each other the third side hustle that i would like to suggest which could possibly generate you income even while you sleep on it because why not this one when i heard about it, i was like why did I not think of this? You know, I've heard people say you can self-publish on Kindle and, you know, you can just put a book up there. I'm thinking, child, have you any idea what it takes to write a book? It takes a lot of time, effort and thinking and research to put out a really decent book because I mean people are not idiots they're not out there buying nonsense books they just talk lies and don't have the facts straight okay so I was like how do I now bridge this gap what do I do well you can publish a book <laughs> that has no words no writing in it I know it sounds ridiculous until I explain it and then you're gonna think oh it's so simple <gasps> Think about it. People have things like diaries. People have things like notepads. Those are books. Those are actual books <laughs> that you can buy on Kindle, okay? People are out there looking for like quirky, cool, looking nice, colorful, what what type of diaries, notepads and stuff like that. So all you do, you design the front page, make it eye-catching, make it exciting. And then you design one page one page inside it can say something like notebook or 2021 my year or whatever you design one page and then you duplicate that one page from page one to page 100 and again this is another print on demand system because once you've designed it you put it on there you follow all the rules that they're going to tell you the margins mustn't be like this or this mustn't be look they'll talk you through the whole thing once it's up there and people are like, oh, I'm searching for a notebook. I'm just, oh, this one looks cool. This one with the leopard print. Yeah, you. Next thing they're ordering <laughs> your book. You wrote a book by not writing a book. I thought that was actually quite exciting because people have such great ideas. It can be a diary. It can be a, a notepad. It can be a book that helps people manage their passwords, whatever. They can write their passwords in there for whatever. It can be for anything just as long as some kind of format that helps people to diarize certain things and you don't have to write anything look
look, there are some people who go the extra mile and then design like a hundred pages. Each page will have like a specific quote at the bottom. Look, that's now getting kind of into it. And now a bit high tech, if you want to really dive in, do your thing. But when you start out, you just want to put out the most simple, basic thing because people still need it either way. You probably have a notebook or two if you think about it. And now the fourth and final hustle, like I mentioned, I'm leaving it till the end because it's not really a hustle that can earn you passive income. However, when I thought about it, I thought, you know what, I'm going to talk about it. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to wait. This one is something that you can actually get started. I know we talk about online money um, in a sense where the money comes from somewhere in the universe. But let's not forsake the money in your own neighborhood. Yes, your own neighborhood. Look, Facebook is everywhere. Everywhere, even in places where I didn't know exist, Facebook is there. So if there's Facebook in your neighborhood, it means there's Facebook market. I'm mentioning just Facebook because it's the simplest one that I can remember. But there are lots of other places where people create markets and you can sell stuff. You might be thinking, Pacino, but I don't have anything to sell. Look, that's what I used to think, okay? I'm like probably the biggest customer on Facebook market. Like I'm on there every day. It's like I wake up in the morning, I do my stuff. And the next thing I'm on the market, I'm checking. I don't intend to buy it, but I'm on there. So what can you do? Speak to friends, family, go into their garages, their kitchens, wherever. There's stuff lying around everywhere, stuff that we are not using. You don't place value on it anymore because you're not necessarily using it. It could be anything look i have seen the most random stuff being sold on there the other day i saw some salt shakers guys like chipped salt shakers like these tiny little they, there was nothing special about them just the fact that they exist okay someone's selling them when i went in later they were sold i'm like who bought this nonsense <laughs> who's out there buying nonsense but the people are out there okay listen get started Call your friends, family, anybody out there and say, look, can I sell your stuff for you? You might not have enough stuff that you want to sell, but you can sell a vase. You can sell a little uh, table. You can sell anything, a set of glasses, six or whatever. It can be for any amount. The fact that it's sitting there means that you're sitting on potential. You could even go as far as buying some items, refurbishing them and selling them on Facebook. Look. I did this. Okay, I didn't sell them because I ended up falling in love with them and using them for my own house anyway. But I went to Decofern. I do this a lot, guys. Like, I really love to window shop. I went to Decofern. I was just looking around. And they have, like, this section where they just have broken stuff. And it's just sitting there for months and months. And if you just ask them, hi, could I buy this? They'll literally give it to you for next to nothing. I bought these side tables. I really liked them. They're quite big and quite grand. But they were chipped and they were broken at the back. And they didn't have handles and I thought you know what I'm gonna paint these am I a DIY person no but did I see did I have a vision about these things yes was I sure that it's gonna turn out great no but I did it anyhow and I thought people could literally do this you buy something very very cheap you refurbish it you can paint it whatever it doesn't have to cost you much at all I bought handles for it it looks so pretty I'll see if I can take a picture and like um, uploaded somewhere next to me somewhere here okay somewhere in this atmosphere then you can have a look and then you can sell that and when you sell it you sell it for premium all right guys there's money to be made there is money exchanging hands every single day you just need to find a way to participate okay don't be the customer anymore be the seller be the seller and with that said guys i love you